Ben Munden, you're in charge of kind of getting all the uh, consolidation in, in place, playground moved, uh, and portable buildings moved and everything. How's that going this summer? Uh, it's going pretty well. Um, the majority of the stuff, as far as the playground move and the portable move, we had it contracted out uh, by an outside contractor. Um, he's been taking, removing the playground equipment from uh, Columbian Elementary School. And uh, he's going to be transporting that and reinstalling it at the uh, what is currently the Rattoe Middle School site, but it's being renamed to Russell Marcy Academy site at the middle school. That's going to be a name to get used to, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, quite honestly, there's a memorial marker out there in the grass. It's been there probably since the 40s. And uh, I never stopped to really look at it, but I guess Russell Marcy was the uh, f um, uh, first... Um, person to donate a lot of money for a regular school building here in Raton, so they're going to name it after him uh, in honor of him and change the name because uh, Raton Middle School doesn't quite fit the age group of kids that are going to be there now. So, Right. Uh, how's the rest of the move? I know um, they had Mark Honeyfield and a lot of his uh, students helping with the move right after school. Yeah, as soon as the school was over, uh, Mark Honeyfield had some uh, younger boys uh, hired and uh, they went and they started moving the majority of the teachers belongings desks chairs bookcases libraries and, and those kind of things um, they gave us an extremely uh, large amount of help by doing that we'd be behind if it hadn't been for those boys um, the majority of the teachers items have been moved to the schools that they're getting uh, rearranged to um, the um, right now maintenance department is just working on a few things we'll have to start putting some uh, whiteboards, dry erase boards and things like that in some of the rooms. Um, and they're right towards the end, just before, right when the teachers get back is when we're planning on moving student desks and chairs. We didn't want to overpopulate someplace and then have to go move it twice. So um, we're kind of waiting for the teachers to come back to before we move that stuff. Um, all the school buildings, uh, the uh, administration office let us hire a few people, uh, extra hands this summer as well. Um, to do painting and cleaning and those kind of things, and uh, they've really done a great job. Uh, all of the majority of the rooms uh, were repainted. There were some that hadn't been used in a few years, and the paint was still good, so we didn't, you know, we didn't paint them. But uh, all the all the waxing in the school uh, classrooms has been done. Um, the hallways have been uh, have been scrubbed really good. Just waiting for a final coat of wax. But then again, we usually wait till right before school starts before we uh, have the guys do the wax for the uh, the floors. Okay, and um, so basically you, you feel like you're on schedule and everything's going like it should. Uh, I know it seems like the playground equipment, uh, you said, was just being removed from Columbian School now. Uh, almost seems like that's pushing it a little bit. Yeah, they, they've actually got it mostly out. Um, the last I saw, they were just breaking up some of the concrete that was holding the swing sets. Um, and we have a place already been prepared for them at the middle school for them to reset it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident about the things that I have direct control over as far as being ready for school. Um, like I had mentioned to the school board before, the only thing that is out of my hands is once we hire a contractor to come do work for us, if they run into problems, there's not a whole lot we can do, um, or as I can do as, as far as the school district. Um, but it seems like they're doing okay. Um, they've, they've been really working hard trying to get that playground equipment out. And, uh, like I said, they're nearly finished pulling it out and they've they've moved a portable building from our at tone high school site over to the longfellow site there was some concern uh, as to whether or not having a different contractor other than the people who put the playground equipment in would void warranty and stuff like that uh, what did you guys find out uh, on that officially well actually the uh, the warranty it, the, the playground equipment is 10 plus years over anyway um, so really the warranty as far as the equipment is kind of expired um, as far as as far as um, having an independent contractor put it in put it in, um, the administration felt that it wouldn't be a problem um, because all the contractors who work for us have to have liability insurance um, and things like that. So um, I'm pretty confident that they're they're doing the job they're supposed to be. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ben. You bet. Thank you.